What's up, love arters? Welcome back to the Love Art tutorial series. I'm your host, Vivian, and today we're gonna experiment with something new. Most of the times when we think about design, it's usually posters, logos, or a t-shirt mock-up. And that's what I've shown you in every tutorial so far. But did you know Love Art can actually generate full HTML web pages, like fully coded web pages, not an image, directly inside Love Art? Well, that's what I tried today. I told Lovar to generate a landing page for a pop-up event, and what it gave me blew past any expectations that I had for AI web design. Let me show you what happened. I continued my last matcha pipeline from this video here. If you didn't watch it, go check it out. But for today, we're starting with a very simple prompt. And from there, Love Art built an entire concept. First, it generated a custom matcha themed background uh, with this abstract green textures that feels like the organic powdery texture and almost giving a meditation vibe. Then it created a stylized matcha whisk and also a minimalistic matcha bowl with this rising steam. And each one feels really purposeful and they look even better and more consistent together than just random stock assets put together. But I wonder how Love Art will put them to use. So once those were all ready, Love Art put it all together into a full HTML layout. And you can scroll down to the prompt chat box on the right to preview HTML. Wow! As soon as the page loads, you can tell this isn't a normal site. It's giving full-on matcha energy. The center of the page directly says matcha pop-up in a bold font that kind of stays consistent across the site. And I also really like how the background image colors match the text. It feels really cohesive. I think I need to mention the cursor. The cursor instantly catches my eye. It's not just like a regular pointer anymore. It's a green circle with a ring around it and it even enlarges when I click on something, so it fits perfectly with the design. And not many websites do this kind of cursor effect, and it makes the whole thing feels really alive and intuitive and also really innovative as well. And as we scroll down, we hit this matcha experience section, and here you can see that it's using the matcha whisk image that Love Art generated earlier. And when I hover over it, the whisk even tilts slightly. And the information on the right is also neatly placed on the card and the icons and the text sizing are also super on point, which are really clean and fits the minimalistic style that I prompted it to be. And scrolling further, I must mention the circular navigation element on the right. It's just like a little orbit of points that animates as you scroll. It's like kind of elegant and also way more fun than it needs to be. So honestly, I think it's really the small details like this that make people stay on the site longer. And it goes really well with the cursor design as well. And then we get to the matcha varieties. Each one has its own visual card, like the collectible tea flavors. And when I hover over them, there's like a subtle animation where there's a line extending across the top of each card. I really like that. It's really playful, but still minimalistic, and it fits perfectly with the aesthetic that I asked for in the prompt. And now we see the matcha bowl image generated earlier that's used here. It also goes perfectly well with the matcha theme of the entire site with the background and the color of the font and all the text and cards together. I think the sentences are also very readable and clean, and these matcha flavors, I also did not ask for any of these specific matcha flavors and products to be shown on the website, but I think these descriptions and the categories as well as the prices, they all reflect real world price levels and actual products that if I were actually to implement this website for my real matcha pop-up event, it will be directly usable and realistic. And at the end, we can also see a very intuitively designed and animated engagement Form where when you click, the text also goes on top, and I think that's really cute. Honestly, this whole layout looks like it was made by a very talented designer, because everything flows like matcha being whisked into water. And above all that, I think what stands out to me the most was how well it nailed the aesthetic I'm going for. The way it answered my prompt by one click was so spot on, and then came the interactions, then most importantly, the attention to details with all these subtle animations. And I also don't see any errors that this site has. 
but I didn't stop there. I took the same idea and pushed it further and told Labar to generate multiple alternatives for the same idea. So this is the first experimental variation and this is more like dark theme matcha side with a really unique like this countdown animation as well. And these images are also generated by Love Art and also has these featured product cards and a really cute reserve your spot sign up form. And when I hover over these buttons and I click on them, they go to each of the corresponding sections. And this other one is more interactive. It has the same very creative cursor design as when I move around, you can see like there's a tail. And I also like how they also have these floating uh, bubble shapes, like the menu and about and location, they're all tied to the specific section on the same landing page. And they just go really well together, even if I didn't give it any exact address, it still has the space reserved if I wanted to add it later on. It's really styled like a digital tea menu and also very immersive with attention to details. Each of these three sites are totally different, but they all have the same consistent vibe, and even if they have different designs, they answer my prompt in the perfect way possible, so I can't really choose which one I would use as a final choice. If I were to actually hire a human designer to do the same thing, it will probably take longer and I probably need to pay more as well. But Love Art, each one of these three is a standalone page that I could publish as is or tweak based on the event. And what makes this process so powerful is not really about the look. It's the fact that I never touched a line of code and I clicked once after I typed in one prompt that was really short. Love Art understood the style that I was going for, picked the right structure, designed it, and gave it a final professional finish. So yeah, Lovart is both a graphic design tool, but also a full-on website front-end builder. So if you're working on an event, building a portfolio, or just trying to experiment with new layout designs that go beyond boring templates, this is very worth trying. So let Lovart build the visuals, the animations, and the structure just for your unique idea in minutes. What you might get back might be something you've never seen before. And that's it for this one. Check the links below for each of the three matcha pages that I generated. And tag us if you create something even better than this. I want to see how far this can go. See you in the next one, Love Arters. Thank you for watching.